Let's talk about my favorite thing in the world, donuts. Nice Boston cream donut, fresh glazed donut, um, all wonderful things. And we've got donuts in GIS, uh, and we're going to learn how to make them today. So in editing, every now and then you need to create a polygon that's got an empty part or a hole in the middle. So these are called donut polygons, and we're going to learn how to create one today. So right now I've got uh, my uh, ArcMap session set up for editing. I'm in the middle of an edit session, and I've got a polygon feature class that I'm going to do some editing on. Now, in my study area, I actually don't have a real uh, area uh, of a donut, so I can imagine a forest that's got a lake in the middle or a forest that has an opening in the middle that I'd want to cut out. So that's what we're going to pretend that we're going to do. So in my edit session for create features, I'm going to click on the polygon uh, that I want to edit, create the polygon construction tools, and the first thing that I'm going to do is digitize the outside of my polygon or my donut. Double click to finish that. So I've got a selected sketch here that I've completed. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to use the cut polygons tool to create the hole in the middle. Now before we do that, we need to do a couple things with our snapping environment. So I need to make sure that I'm using snapping. I also need to make sure that I'm snapping to the sketch so that it can snap to itself. Uh, in this case, I need to make sure that I use end snapping in order, so I'm going to create a donut and one end needs to snap to the other in order to have a complete donut hole. All right, so snapping's on, end snapping's on, and now I'm going to use the cut polygon tool. And I'm going to create the hole in the middle. And then making sure that at the end I snap to create a complete circle. All right, so I'm going to double click here. And then that was really quick, all that flashing. What it did was it, it did the cut. Um, so let's see what I've got. If I use the selection tool, I've got the hole and I have the donut. And what I want to do is select the hole and then I'm going to hit the delete key. And now I have a donut polygon. All right, I'm off to the bakery. Bye.